right, we're back in Palm Springs today. And today we are gonna do something I have never done here. Explore the downtown area. They have a walk of fame. They have statues. I haven't seen any of them. Let's go see them together. What do you say? Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, it's a hot one out here. That's why I haven't been bringing Ja on any of these Palm Springs vlogs. But I don't know this area at all, so let's just wander and see what we can find. By God, if we're gonna be in Palm Springs, we ought to be looking at some palm trees, right? I know they're known for their date milkshakes. Not like going on a date, but like dates, dates. Here's a foot store that sells socks and look at their display. Rolling Stone socks. Trump with hair socks. Zoltar from Big, that's pretty cool. Wow, they have an amazing amount of socks. We got all the art on there too. Mona Lisa? And you gotta have some Grateful Dead ones. Find your feet, that was our first cool store of the exploration. Now here they have tons of statues of various entertainers all over this place. The trick is to stumble upon them randomly. We could probably look them up, but I know roughly they're in the same area. Lycan's Department Store. Built the first general store in the village in 1914. For years it contained the only telephone and post office. The store was remodeled with the existing overhang arches when the sidewalks were installed in the 1930s. Huh. That's his store here that we've been walking under. This whole thing was Lycan's. Now, as I mentioned, they have a walk of fame, and this is the very first stop that we found on this. Somebody I am not a fan of at all, but that's the first one I've seen. Okay, just walking around, glanced over, saw a sign over here that says Yellow Brick Road, and I go, wonder what that's all about. And there's a little gate back here, and of course, Yellow Brick Road. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Everybody loves the magic of the Wizard of Oz, apparently. We just went out and saw Salvation Mountain and he did the Hill Brick Road as well. And where does it take us? To construction work. Now that definitely would have been a different movie for Dorothy if she would have ran into that instead of what she ran into on her Yellow Brick Road. Crazy Mel's. Huh, he's doing a handstand. All right, we've got some more names. Ted Bacino, director. Not familiar with him. Murray Corda, violin virtuoso. Robin Lynn Miller, songbird of the desert. Sandra Spivak, ballerina, choreographer. Oh, Larry Storch from F Troop. Papa John Phillips. We went to his grave one of the last times we were out here. Ruth Terry. Debbie Gibson, huh? Scott Aronson, plastic surgeon. Connie Stevens, one of Shelley's best friends. We've got Patrick Evans, Diane Schur, Michael Dante. Oh, we got a lot of them coming up. Betty Chapman Francis. Here we have Gavin McLeod. They have so many out here, I'm not gonna name them all anymore. Just people that I recognize. Don Luster. Sue Carol Ladd, she used to be an actress and then became a an agent and discovered Alan Ladd and married Alan Ladd and they were together till their death. Sue is right there and Alan himself is right here. Oh, there's Liberace. Here's Richard Thorpe and Jerry Thorpe. And then as I came around the corner, I noticed Lucy sitting here on a bench all by herself. Now we've made it over to the Memorial Library. There's a ton of them over here. I see Frank Sinatra, so we'll go through them. And then I see the theater over here as well. So right over here, there's a lot that we can recognize. First off, I mean, we see Frank Sinatra right here. And then right over here is Elvis. And then we come back over here past Frank and we've got his wife Barbara who, it's funny, she, before she was married to him, she was married to Zeppo Marx, the Marx brothers, champion of the children. And then we come over here 
And we have Colonel Tom Parker. And Truman Capote. Here we have Lauren Bacall. Here we have Mickey Rooney. Jason Matthews. And James Earl Jones. This is really appropriate, all the color around this one. Sophia Loren from Naples, or from that area. Kind of cool is if you just follow the, the stars, they'll lead you to different statues eventually. Dick Van Patten from Spaceballs. I'll take a look at this area. Now I want to cross the street and take a look at the statues over there in this Buddha head. It's perfect. They even put a walkway right in the center so you can walk up to it. Remembering the heritage of the original settlers out here. This is really, really well done too. Agua Caliente. Look at all the purple cactus. Check out the Just Chillin' place over there. Looks like your old fashioned ice cream parlor, but it actually is sugar free, dairy free, and low carb options. Somewhere out here, and it's gigantic, so I don't know how I'm missing it, is a recreation of Marilyn getting her skirt blown up from Seven Year Itch, so I wanna find that too while we're out here. Uh, for historical sake, of course. Oh, well, there's Wayne Newton. Rick Nelson. Now check this out. He's not an actor, but he's the chairman of the Lynx. Yep, all the way down to the golf ball. Oh, Chevy Chase. Clark Griswold himself. And who can forget Cheetah the Chimp? Check out the old sign. Buddy Rich, world's greatest drummer. I think a lot of people would agree with that. And we have the old theater sign here, established 1936. Some of it's been turned into a coffee shop here. But that looks great, doesn't it? Take a look. Oh, that's interesting. It was opened for the screening of Camille. That was a Robert Taylor and Greta Garbo film. Actor Ralph Bellamy served as master of ceremonies for this event, which attracted about 40 Hollywood celebrities. The theater was also home of the Jack Benny radio broadcasts in the 1940s, along with those of Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. The Village Insanities Review, a highlight of the Desert Circus of the 1930s and onward, was also staged here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, we can't get in, but there's the box office and everything. All right, let's move on. We do have to acknowledge Al Jolson. He was one of the biggest stars of his day. The Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. And there's the man, the hero, William Powell. And of course his wife, Mousy Powell. Ruby Keeler. AC and the Sunshine Band, huh? Still trying to find that Marilyn Monroe. It's supposed to, I'm telling you, it's supposed to be gigantic. I don't know how I could miss it. These are kind of cool. All made out of metal. Well, there's a Maryland statue. It's not the one I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for is eons bigger, but there she is. Let's go see who this statue is over here. I'm pretty sure I know, but yep. I'm pretty sure I'm right too, because I see the star here. Sonny Bono. Sonny and Cher and being Palm Springs mayor, they have a statue to him. I got you, babe. Of 
course he passed away in a tragic skiing accident. One of my inspirations, I couldn't pass this one up, Huel Hauser, TV journalist, Marine, and California's gold. I think I'd be, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, that's amazing. All right, now we got a souvenir shop called Only in Palm Springs. Let's see what they got. Waterfalls, right away. Maybe I'll get a few postcards while I'm here. Piece of Maryland art up here on the side of the California Bistro. Also in front of the California Bistro is George Hamilton and they have all these multicolored chairs. It's kind of cool. Bernie Miller. The great buddy Hackett. Total bummer. I just asked a guy that was out here working. I said, hey, do you know where the Marilyn Monroe statue is? And he said, oh, it's not here anymore. He said they actually moved it to Connecticut. They're trying to get it back here, but um, he said, yeah, it was here for like a year and then they moved it temporarily to display over there and it just hasn't come back yet. Bummer. Look, John Lautner's got one. So I just remembered there's also something I wanted to show you before the day's over. We have to drive to it, but it kind of ties into my trip to Prague. Look at the setup of this restaurant. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at the poodle statues out in front of this pet store. Over here we have Merv Griffin. Jerry Vale, crooner. Iron Eyes Cody from, well, I know him from Ernest, of course. I always like to look at the odder ones. Golf car pioneer, Bobby Thomas. This statue is called Standing Woman. Very cool. See? Date shakes. I just popped into the Palm Springs General Store and I have to buy this postcard. I have to. Oh yeah, of course. Another notable resident of Palm Springs, Rock Hudson. One of the stories they told us in the Elvis tour was they said that um, there was a, a rule in most of the actors' contracts that they couldn't go anywhere more than two hours away from Los Angeles, so that's why a lot of them came to Palm Springs to get away from the press and everything. Debbie Reynolds, and amongst all these other greats, we've got Lisa Vanderpump. The daughter, not the wife. Every time I think of Lena Horne, I think of Fred Sanford. Every time I think of the four freshmen, I think of Brian Wilson, that was one of his obsessions when he was younger was listening to them. And singer, actor, conductor, and kidnappy Frank Sinatra Jr. The woman who ruined Elvis's wedding plans. She's still alive. Oh, Marilyn. Here's a couple of good ones. Adam West as Batman. So I'm pretty sure it's over here what I'm looking for when I mentioned that there was a connection to my trip to Prague. So, do you see there it says The Palm Springs Babies by David Cerny? Remember when I went to the TV towers in Prague and I was all bummed because they're supposed to have babies all over them? Well that same artist has done that type of idea in various places around the world and he did it here so we're here to see the babies. We didn't get to see them because they're cleaning them. They were restoring them when we were in Prague, but we'll get to see them now. They have a gigantic open pit right in front of this museum over here, and they have them crawling around in there, crawling around all over the walls and everything you can see. Here's another view, and you can tell where they where they set them up. I mean, they're huge. I mean, these things are, I don't even know how to describe how big they are, but they're huge. And there's a parking structure over here, and you can see cars. So that kind of gives you an idea. They're twice the size of a car. This was a great mural. I had to put this on here and show you guys. I love stuff like this. Nothing better than a great artistic expression. I'm trying to give you angles from both sides. Check this out. I love this kind of art. 
especially as we were walking up to it that just you could see all the definition in the face and everything pretty incredible Very well done. And everybody likes to go stand in there and do their photo ops. Sonny Bono has two. America's sweetheart. Fred Waring, stage, radio, composer, film, TV. The man who taught America to sing. I thought they had a Buddy Rogers statue around here somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. Here's Bob Hope. And over here we have Ginger Rogers. Look whose star I just found. Saw some art in the corridor in here we should check out. Look at these metal sculptures of palm trees with the monkeys on the trees. How cool is that? And the coconuts. Nice. Oh, was that Don Quixote? Yeah, it sure looks like it. I've seen enough of him this year to know. Nice bench made out of looks like wheelbarrow parts. Oh yeah, this is nice. I think I was wrong. I think the Buddy Rogers statue is over in Cathedral City. I know they have a Gene Autry one as well, but that's not over on this main drag either. It's over by the Gene Autry Plaza. Hey, look at that turtle at the top of there. Okay, I'm game. What's the free historic site? Oh, interesting. Huh. Do you see that? For years, people have come to this spot to see the profile president of Abraham Lincoln on the mountain. Best time we view at sundown. Then they have this that looks up into the mountain. Oh wow, I totally see it up there. That's crazy. That was pretty wacky, I didn't expect to see that. So I saw a few more things over here from across the street that I want to show you and then I want to go get something to eat and go check into my hotel. Well, like this. This fine art gallery. Look at this. Holy smoke. Isn't that incredible? The big lollipops. Nice. I just walked past this. Amazing record store and look at this shirt they have in the window. And that's their record shop shirt. Whoa. Brian saw. Some incredible shirts you can buy here. I want them all. Stir crazy. Sorry Elvis, I would have liked to have gotten that Desilu shirt, but I really wanted it in black, not white. And then just in the middle of nowhere, for no reason, is this guy. Well, let's take a break and get some food. This is my favorite eatery in Palm Springs. I come here every time I come here, so. Yeah, isn't that weird how I said that? Come here every time I come here? But I do. Yep, let's go have some Ricks. It's a true touch of Palm Springs in here. Lucy and Desi. I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, Cobb salad. So I got the half salad and soup. I got the chicken vegetable, no noodles, just chicken vegetable and a uh, Cobb salad. It's pretty big for a half a Cobb salad. The food's pretty good, as usual. Well, there's my hotel. Now this was a pretty reasonably priced room for Palm Springs, and the room online looked amazing. So, <laughs> we'll see if it holds up to them giving me what I, what I think I'm ordering. So from the doorway, we go into the kitchen. Here's the bathroom. And the desk, and the bed, the table, the TV, all that stuff. Pretty good deal, yeah. It's uh, 
It's actually exactly what I thought I was going to get. Well, my friends, I think I'm going to call it a day. I hope you all enjoyed Palm Springs today. It's been a pretty cool trip, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Susan Webble, Linda Million, and Jana Dubner for making contributions to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, and goodbye.